we're back on the road again, but only for one day. Listening to my <clears throat> video on the on the law of faith yesterday triggered something, triggered a theory in me. Well, I think that I'm right on why some people tell me, Pastor Jose, I do not hear God or God does not speak to me. A law tells us that under specific circumstances, specific results always take place. The law of gravity tells me that if I drop this wallet because of gravity, the wallet will always fall down to the ground. Specific results, specific circumstances get specific results. Now, faith, the law of faith is found in Romans 3, verse 27. Romans 3, verse 27. And the law of faith tells us that whatsoever we believe for, we shall receive. Um, or Jesus said, let it be done according to your faith. The beggar Lazarus had a faith level to receive crumbs from the rich man's table. And God honored his faith. God honored, God honored the faith of Lazarus. And he gave him the crumbs from the rich man's table. As a matter of fact, let's be real, real authentic with each other. Most of us have the faith level of Lazarus when it comes to receive the things of God. We basically are satisfied with just getting crumbs from him. So I said to myself, would it be possible that some people are not hearing God or they feel that God's not speaking to them because that's their faith level? For example, there's many people in this world that say, oh, you know what? God's this powerful being up in the sky. He's some man sitting up there or he's uh he is an he's an active force and he though he's so busy he's able to hear everybody's prayers i don't know how he does it but in a low lo and behold in some weird way he's going to answer my prayer sooner or later for example if i say oh god you know stop the war uh, um 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 back in antarctica stop the war that's in antarctica some way, sooner or later, God's going to answer that prayer. Or if I say, oh God, you know, um, heal my child. Sometimes you'll see God heal that child. But that's the faith level. The faith level is God's a personal, God's a God that's too busy for me. He's some impersonal God up in the skies. And he's going to answer my prayer, but he surely does not. He's uh, surely not going to talk to me. My Okay, he's surely not going to talk to me, and he surely does not have any time for me. And on top of that, I am not going to bother him with my prayers. So if that's your faith level, that's probably what's going to happen. He's probably not going to talk to you. And that's the way that your relationship with him will be. But why did I learn how to hear God so rapidly when I was so dysfunctional and I was such a messed up guy? I should have been the last person to learn how to hear God because I did not come from a church background. I did not pray until I was 25 years of age. I came, I met the unknown God who revealed himself as Jesus Christ in an empty church by myself without a priest or without a pastor. I was in drugs, I was in drinking, I was a college dropout, I was in pornography, I was a I was a severe stutterer. So it would seem that I was the most I was the worst candidate to hear God. But what happened to me was because 
I came to God at the end of my rope. I thought I was going to die if this God did not answer me. I learned to cry out to Jesus Christ for everything. I, cry, I learned that prayer, prayer is not some kind of uh, say, Oh God, just send rain. Oh God, bless the United States of America. Oh God, uh, bless Africa. Oh God, bless the people of Asia. I found out that God was very, very personal. I felt that I could come to God. For me, prayer was, prayer, prayer was never that. Prayer was, I'm at the end of my rope. I am desperate. I have to come to this God with my deepest and darkest needs. I have to tell Him what my fears are, what my insecurities are, what my problems are, uh, uh, what my confusions are. I don't have anyone else but God in my life. And because my relationship with God from the beginning was, I have to let I have to share everything with God. I have to share my deepest and darkest needs. I have to. I need Him to help me with every problem. I need Him. I need Him to help me with every detail of my life. Because that was my faith level. I expected. I expected God to answer me at that level. I expected God to give me an answer. For the tiniest details. I expected God to give me wisdom for my deepest and darkest secrets. I expected God to answer to answer my fears. Yes, wait, my wife needs me right now. Hold on, she is uh we're going back home that to way? I think so. Hold on for a second. We're talking about this car here. Hold on for a second. We are getting out of a gas station here, and we need to be careful because we're getting out, right? Yeah. Okay. So I expected God to answer me at this level. And because of the law of faith, He did. And He started to talk to me in details. He started to answer me about the, uh, about the tiniest things. And because of the law of faith, my faith level was that God was going to answer me because I was talking to him in that detail. Then he, then he started to talk to me in those details that I learned how to hear his voice quickly. I was, hearing, I was hearing his voice months after I came to the Lord without a pastor, without a priest, without this YouTube channel, without Facebook to, to put likes and views on all my things. Right? But... So I suggest to you, if your religion states that God is too busy for me, that God's going to hear me, but God's not going to answer me, and you desire to have God really talk to you, then you need to change your God. You need to change your God from this impersonal force in the sky to this intimate heavenly father that's really interested about you the prayer is not just a religious prayer but that it's going to him with your deepest and darkest needs and your deepest and darkest details and that he indeed is going to answer you in the most detailed of ways because Jesus said be it done according to your faith okay my friends have a great Father's Day Happy Father's Day to all spiritual and physical fathers alike, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.